Okay, I'm not quite sure what. Uh, actually, I only know one of these players is Diamond. I know, I know Stiggy is a Diamond Zerg player, and I'm not quite sure about Flux Coin, but I guess we'll have to judge from his gameplay. We do have a ZVP matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Now, to be known in this kind of matchup, maybe kind of Stefano style, FFV, uh, fast kind of zealot pressure. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about the match. Well, we already were, but uh, in the bottom left hand corner, we have INF Stuji spawning as the pink Zerg. And at the top right hand corner, we have Flux Coin spawning as the orange. Protoss. I do not know what we're going to be expecting this matchup, but it looks like Flux Coin is going to be not doing an FFE and building a pile on there. I've never actually seen this in a kind of higher league matchup, but I guess we'll have to only judge from this gameplay as we see from then on. But in the meantime, I have Stigi is droning up. And sorry, one second, guys. I'm just going to go in and tell this guy that he's got a free win. Okay, very good scouting from Mr. Fluxcoin at the meantime. He sees he's droning up, maybe going for a fast expansion, or there's the spawning pool, ladies and gentlemen. That was a 15 pool as far as I'm... Oh no, that was a 14 pool. And in the meantime, Mr. Fluxcoin is going for a gateway. And an assimilator, so it may be somewhat of a cheesy four gate. Getting that pylon timing. Uh, probing up, but in the meantime, Mr. Stiggy is trying to do an expansion. Well, trying to get an expansion, <laughs> not do it. Spawning pool is almost done, and continuously droning up. And there is the cybernetic score. I'm very feeling for a four gate at the moment because he has not spent any of his chrono boost, saving it all the way up. No zealots, there is the zealot. Getting that nice wall off. But will Stigi scout it? That is the problem. He does scout, he does not have an expansion. Is he thinking, is he proxying me? Or has he actually got somewhat of a cheesy kind of a. <laughs> Four gates coming! He knows he has to get some zerglings and some spine crawlers ASAP. And yes, it is a full gate, ladies and gentlemen. He is uh, <laughs> chrono boosting that cybernetic score non stop. Go for that stalker and zealot. Looks like that stalker is going to try and get some map control. Have a look at uh, what the hell's going on. And so these zerglings are going to be coming up and scouting this wall off and that chronoing on the cybernetic score. And he should be getting ready to throw those spine crawlers down. I'd very like to see Stigi. Uh, if he actually wanted to, instead of doing an inject here, he could do a creep tumor and actually push his spine crawlers up here. But he is going to go for that his spine crawlers anyway. Very good. And that gas. To try and get that metallotic boost. He's very feeling very comfortable at the moment, droning up. Knowing that this warp gate's going to be a bit too late, because he does he does in fact actually have a proxy pylon. And there's a the Stalker Scout, and these Zerglings are going to try and get the Scout on him as well. But, they're not going to do as, that, as much damage as Stigi wants them to. And there is the Spine Crawler popping up. But, the free Gateways are late. And this timing will be late, actually. Should be a 6 minute timing, in fact it may be a 6.30 timing. But another Spine Crawler going down. More, more Zerglings are coming on the way. Queens as well. He has, in fact, he is finally researching a metallotic boost. <laughs> I was waiting for that actually. There we are, all these stalkers. Yeah, just about to 6.30 timing. 
should be making non-stop zerglings as so far as I'm aware. And there is the creep tumor, ladies and gentlemen. I was waiting for that, in fact. <laughs> I called that earlier. More stalkers and zealots are coming in. No sentries. But let's see that how he does this micro. Stalkers seem to be uh, targeting the spine crawler, and the zerglings are going to try and get this around on these stalkers, but it's not going to be enough. The zealots are targeting down the spine crawler and the stalkers. Queens are trying to push for it, and he's forcibly pulling the drones. These stalkers are trying to micro while well, they are microing back, getting a few target fires on the drones, getting a load of free drone kills, and the four gate is doing so much damage right now. Stigy's not getting enough zerglings out, but he is trying to push for it. 14 zerglings are on the way, Metal Octic Boost is almost done. And the drones are not being pulled. Yes, they are. They're finally being pulled now. And there we are. Looks like uh, Flux Coin may be supply blocked. No, he's not. He is still able to warp one more unit, but will he put more pylons down? That is the question. More drones getting killed. All these star stalkers getting these free drone kills. And these zealots are forcibly making a wall against those zerglings. There's the roach. Yeah, I don't know why he's made a roach roar. <laughs> Trying to go for that fast kind of roach, but there is the ma uh, the hatchery going down. Three zerglings. Oh no, they're going to be buggering off. Force field has gone down on the ramp. Zerglings are feeling very scared right now. I can imagine Stigy's going like, "Oh, why didn't I make more spine crawlers? God damn it!" But. Looks like maybe Fluxcoin has got this game. I cannot see uh, Stigy winning this any otherwise. It's very unfortunate, but these Zerglings are going to try and put some pressure, and the Zealot Wall is there to deny it. And I'm very much expecting the GG at this very point and moment. Try and push for Roaches out, but they're not going to do enough damage. God damn it! All these drone kills are going down, and finally, in 3, 2, 1, there is the GG. And the game does go to Fluxcoin. Very well played for a cheesy game, in fact.